Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture we will discuss excretory system of earthworm. Dear students, excretory system of earthworm ferritima posthuma. Very important topic for BSc students. Final exam topic. Excretory system of earthworm that consists of metanephridial system and chloragogan cells. Dear students, chloragogan cells we have already discussed. These chloragogan cells or yellow cells in silom, silomic fluid. These are excretory cells. And in today's lecture, we will cover very important system that is metanephridial system and in this metanephridial system the special structures which are excretory organs and these excretory special structures which are microscopic and these are named nephridia and these nephridia are arranged segmentally these are named metanephridia is these metanephridia open directly in body coelom, body cavity. So these are named metanephridia. These are arranged segmentally. Dear students, in excretory system of earthworm, these specialized structures which are microscopic and these nephridia are of three types. In case of earthworm, the nephridia are of three types. First type of nephridia, these are integumentary nephridia. As name indicates, these nephridia are present in body wall integument skin. These integumentary nephridia present in all body segments, in body wall, in integument, in skin. And these integumentary segments are absent only in two segments. Dear students, in first and second means these integumentary nephridia and these are present in all body segments except first two body segments. Dear students, segment number one and segment number second, first two segments are excluded. Otherwise, in all body segments, these integumentary nephridia are present. In each segment, their number is about 200 to 250. Dear students, in each segment, these integumentary nephridia, these skin nephridia, body wall nephridia are about 200 to 250, except not down competition students. Except in this clitellum, clitellar region, the segment number 14th, 15th and 16th. In these clitellar segments, 14th, 15th, 16th segments, the number of integumentary nephridia is about 10 times more. It means in this clitellum, each segment 14th, 15th, 16th having the number of nephridia about 2000 to 2500 means their number is 10 times more as compared to the rest of body segments. That's why in this clitellum, these nephridia produce a jungle, a forest of nephridia. Very important competition students. In the segment number 14th, 15th and 16th, the number of integumentary nephridia is about 10 times more. It means in each 14th, 15th, 16th segment, the number of integumentary nephridia is 2000 to 2500 per segment. While in rest of body segments, these integumentary nephridia are about 200 to 250. And segment number one and two, it means first two segments are without these integumentary nephridia. 
in all body segments these nephridi are present except first two segments and these integumentary nephridia these nephridia open on the body surface dear students open externally on body surface so these are ectonephric nephridia integumentary nephridia open outside directly on body body surface these are ectonephric nephridia as we know in case of ferritima in case of earthworm three types of nephridia we have discussed first type integumentary skin which are present in body wall and second type second type of nephridia these are these are pharyngeal nephridia not down not down three types of nephridia the second type of nephridia which are pharyngeal nephridia and these pharyngeal nephridia are present one two three pairs it means pharyngeal nephridia are three pairs of bundles and these are arranged a pair of bundles of these pharyngeal nephridia in segment number 4th 5th and 6th in each segment number 4th 5th and 6th there are a pair of bundles of pharyngeal nephridia not down these pharyngeal nephridia open in the gut alimentary canal pharyngeal nephridia of segment number 6th their excreted duct opens in the buccal cavity while the excreted ducts of pharyngeal nephridia present in segment number 4th and 5th their excreted ducts open in this pharynx region so these are named pharyngeal nephridia dear students these pharyngeal nephridia their ducts open inside the gut so these are endonephric enteronephric while these integumentary nephridia which open outside on body surface so these are ectonephric while these pharyngeal nephridia are enteronephric the type number third we have discussed two types first one is integumentary nephridia present in all body segments except first two while the second type of nephridia which are pharyngeal nephridia these are present in bundles one two three pairs of bundles of pharyngeal nephridia one pair of bundle in each segment number fourth segment number fifth and segment number sixth as these integumentary nephridia, nephridia open outside on body surface these are ectonephric while these pharyngeal nephridia open inside the gut in this buccal cavity or pharynx so these are enteronephric third type of nephridia these are very important septal nephridia dear students these are septal nephridia as these septal nephridia are present on the septa intersegmental septa behind the segment number 15th it means first septal nephridia are present on this inter intersegmental septa of segment number 15th and 16th and these septal nephridia extends up to the last segment on each septa in each segment their number of these septal nephridia about 80 to 100 dear students this is the arrangement of septal nephridia this is the transfer section of body wall behind the 15 segments and it shows the arrangement of these septal nephridia these septal nephridia which open inside the the lumen cavity of this intestine so these are Enteronephric. This pharyngeal, enteronephric. Integumentary, open outside. These are ectonephric. While these septal nephridia again open inside the lumen cavity of intestine. Enteronephric. 
dear students very important bsc students final exam topic again the question the structure of nephridia the structure of this is septal nephridia this one is the this is the body silo in which these nephridia are present this is the diagram of a septal nephridia each septal nephridia consists of four parts dear students note down this is funnel like this is nephrostome first part of septal nephridia and this funnel like nephrostome nephridiostome that lies it opens in this coelomic fluid body fluid body cavity it collects excretory products of the coelomic fluid then the second part is neck first part is nephrostome funnel like nephridiostome that collects the waste products and these excretory products are carried via this neck which is second part it consists of a ciliated tract this is the main part of a nephridium this one is the third part of a septal nephridium that is body first part is nephrostome second part is neck this part receives it collects excretory product from the body coelomic fluid and through this neck the ciliated tract the excretory products are passed in this main part of nephridia it is body and this body it is divided into two parts this is straight lobe and this one is the twisted lobe this twisted loop that is main part of nephridial body this straight lobe it is smaller while this twisted loop is it is almost double the size of this straight lobe this straight lobe having outer and inner loops it has two loops as well as dear students these are ciliated tracts which conduct the excretory products and this twisted loop its apical part is narrow its basal part is broader and this twisted loop again it is formed by a proximal limb and this one is the distal limb and this twisted loop it opens in the fourth part of this septal nephridium this one is the terminal duct it means each nephridium having four parts the nephrostome the neck the main part of body body having a straight lobe and this one is the twisted loop and twisted loop its apical part which is narrow this wider part is basal part and this straight lobe again made up of outer loop inner loop and this twisted loop which is made up of proximal limb and this one is the distal limb this is the fourth part of a nephridium this is terminal duct and this terminal duct opens in this septal excretory duct and this septal excretory duct opens in the in the lumen of in the cavity of intestine dear students it means the septal nephridia open inside these pharyngeal nephridia open inside the gut these are enteronephric while these integumentary nephridia which open on body surface externally so these are ectonephric this is all about excretory system metanephridial system chloragogan cells of earthworm ferritima in case of earthworm in case of ferritima dear students very clear from this diagram three types of nephridia integumentary nephridia which are present in body wall in skin and these integumentary nephridia which are present in all body segments except first two and these integumentary nephridia in each segment their number is about 80 to about 200 to 250 except in this in this clitellum 
in each clitellar segment segment number 14th 15th 16th the number of integument in nephridia is about 10 times so in in these segments clitellar region segments the number of integument in nephridia is about 2000 to 2500 they produce a forest a jungle of nephridia and these septal nephridia present on inter segmental septa dear students behind the 15th segment it means the first septal nephridia which present between the 15th and 16th segments septa intersegmental septa and extend up to the last segment but in first 15 segments these septal nephridia are absent and dear students pharyngeal nephridia which occur in bundles in three pairs of bundles segment number fourth fifth and sixth which open in this buccal cavity and pharynx so these are enteronephric and this is the diagram very clear nephridia and each nephridium having four parts this is the nephrostom and this is the part second part which is neck and this particular part main part of the nephridium it is body and this is the terminal duct this is all about excretory system of earthworm, ferritima, postuma and tomorrow's lecture we will discuss very important topic that is nervous system of earthworm as well as nervous system of leech. Thank you.